Hello viewers, welcome to this video. Right, couple days ago I did this video about how to set up a multi-master Kubernetes cluster using KubeADM. I've shown you how to use Ubuntu 20.04 in my vagrant environment to bring up the machines and use KubeADM to build a highly available multi-master Kubernetes cluster. This video that I'm recording now is going to be a follow-up video for this one. So one of the viewers asked me, how we could add additional master node or worker node all right so once you've got this how do you go about adding additional master node worker nodes and so on so if you remember when we did this video a couple days ago and when we did the kubeadm init command on the first master when you initialize the cluster at the end of the kubeadm init commands output you will see a couple of commands couple of commands yeah so kubeadm join command with some tokens and certificates that you will be using to join additional nodes. So what if you lose that command? What if you clear the screen? And what if you want to add the node at a later point of time? You don't have access to it. You don't have, you didn't actually copy those commands. So at the end of the kubeadm init command, you would have kubeadm join. Uh, if you want to join additional control plane or if you want to join a uh, another worker node you will see those outputs at the end of the kubeadm init output you can generate additional tokens obviously those tokens are not going to be valid forever so they will be valid for like a couple hours or i think it might be 24 hours or so but once you get past that one day and if you want to add additional nodes to this cluster you will have to regenerate the token so that's what this video is about okay so i've left this environment as it is from my previous recording so we've got k master one k master two and k worker one two master nodes and one worker node and the interaction is through the load balancer hache proxy 172.16.16.100 let's try and add additional master node let me edit my vagrant file so this block here master count is two so i'm going to change that to three so now you will have additional master k master one k master two and now a you can also have k master three and it's again same ubuntu 2004 and the ip address will be 103 as this is the third machine okay so i'm going to save that i'm going to bring up that machine vagrant up uh, and if i do vagrant status so k master one we have the load balancer k master one k master two K worker one and K master three is the new one that we added in the vagrant file. It's not created, so let's bring that up. Vagrant up K master three. So luckily, I've got enough CPU and RAM on my host machine, so I'm able to run this additional virtual machine. So if I go to my documentation in kubeadm hatch a multi master, that's one load balancer, two master nodes, and one worker nodes, and I, now I'm adding an additional master node. And so in which case I should be having six plus two eight gig of memory and um, eight CPU cores. I've got eight CPU cores. Okay, I should be fine. Let's see. Okay, so that's done. Cool. Okay, let me log in to. 103 so that's the new master node the password is cube admin yep so i'm in the k master 3 okay so let me follow this documentation so we've got some prerequisite setup steps to do uh, disabling the firewall disabling swap adding kernel parameters installing docker engine adding kubernetes repository and installing the kubernetes components so let's go through these steps now okay first one is disable firewall that's done disable swap that's done and kernel parameters that's done and install docker engine okay so that's going to take a couple minutes i'm going to pause the video and come back when it's done all right so that's done and now i'm going to add the kubernetes repository okay and let's install the kubernetes components kubeadm kubelet and kubectl copy and paste again it's going to take uh, a minute i'm going to pause the video and come back when it's done all right so that's done let me clear up the screen okay so we we've completed all the prerequisite setups and now we need to join this node to the cluster so how would we do that uh, if you had access to those two commands at the end of the kubeadm init command so in the documentation when you ran this command kubeadm init on your first master node at the end of the output you would have those commands that you can use to join this cluster but this one was done two days ago and i don't have access to the output of this command so how do i generate or create a command that i can use to join this new node as a master node to the existing cluster okay so here comes i'm going to open up another pane here and i'm going to log into the one of the masters one of the working masters that's already in the cluster so let me log into 101, the first master. Uh, this is where we ran the kubeadm init originally. 
okay so here we have and I can do cubidium token list so that's the command you need to run to verify to view the token so we've got a couple of tokens here but we also need some additional information like certificate key and the certificate hash and so on so let's generate a new token that we can use on kmaster3 to join that node to this cluster so the command is kubeadm token and if i do minus minus help point that to less okay so this command manages bootstrap tokens so the list of available subcommands we have is we can create, delete, generate, and list. So we already saw how to list it, cubadium token list. So we have two tokens and we are not going to use those tokens because we need additional information. So let's create additional token, cubadium token create, minus minus help. Let's see what we need to do in order to create a token. Okay, so here comes print join command, which is what I'm going to be using. So instead of printing only the token, print the full kubeadm join command. So if you use this option print join command, it generates the token as well as it will give you the complete uh, command line that you need to use on the other machine to join that node to this cluster. So we definitely need this command option print join command. And we also need this one minus minus certificate key if you are going to add a master node to this cluster. So minus minus certificate key is a string. You need to pass in uh, the certificate keys. But where do you find the certificate key? Uh, to create a new certificate key, you must use kubeadm init face upload. So there is a suggestion here. Uh, I'm going to copy this command here. So when you run this command, it's going to generate a new certificate key. So once we create the certificate key, we can come back to kubeadm token create and then pass minus minus certificate key okay so first we're gonna run this command okay so let me run that command kubeadm init phase upload search minus minus upload search okay so that's done and you can see here that's the certificate key we need all right so now let's create the token kubeadm create token minus minus certificate key is this key again this key is i think it's valid just for a couple hours so kubeadm create token minus minus certificate key and we also need print join command if i type correctly okay uh kubeadm sorry token create it's not create token kubeadm token create okay let me clear the screen so this is the command kubeadm token create minus minus certificate key and that's the certificate key that we copied from our previous command and print join command okay so i'm running this and there we go and we've got the command that we need so this is how you generate a new uh, bootstrap token that you need to use on the other nodes that you wish to join to the existing cluster so i'm going to copy this i'm going to tell you uh, one thing so this is all you need whether it's a master node or a worker node all you need is just this one and again it's only valid for few hours okay so let me open up uh, a text editor and i'm going to paste this one so if you want to join a worker node again use the same command but you don't need the control plane option and you don't need the certificate key option okay that's it and you only need these two options if you want to join a worker node to your cluster so kubeadm join so that's the control plane endpoint which is our load balancer endpoint load balancer ip address in the port and we only need a token and the discovery token ca cert hash in terms of uh, for joining a worker node if you want to join a master node uh, in addition to the token and the discovery token ca cert hash you also need to pass in these two options minus minus control plane and minus minus certificate key that's the key that we generated previously but this command is generated as a result of this command here kubeadm token create we've created a token as well as we've also generated the the entire command line that we need to be using to join kmaster3 to this cluster okay okay so now let's try and run this command on uh, kmaster1 sorry kmaster3 okay so kmaster3 i'm going to paste this command and also you need to add minus minus api server advertise address and the IP address of this machine, KMaster3, is 172.16.16.103. Don't forget to add this one minus minus API server advertise address if you're joining a master node and if you're running VirtualBox. So you don't have to worry about it if you're running it on a physical server with just one physical interface. Um, but since I'm using VirtualBox, I've got like two uh, interface. Etiquette 0 is uh, the VirtualBox 1 internal and we've got the eth1 and i want to make sure that i'm using eth1 interface so that's why i'm specifying 
that all the cluster traffic has to use this particular IP address. So make sure to also include this option. You don't have to do this if you're joining a worker node. And as I said, it's the same command. You just don't have to specify the control plane and the certificate key, but don't forget this option here, okay? So, all right, so the command completed. I'm gonna exit out of KMaster3, okay? So uh, we've added an additional master node to our cluster, but there's one thing pending. If I do kubectl get nodes now, okay, there we go. So we've got the, uh, the additional master that we just added, KMaster3 ready, master, everything is fine. But uh, we also need to update our Hache proxy to include this master as well in, in load balancing. So I'm going to log in to 100, which is the IP address of our load balancer and VI etc Hache proxy. Hache proxy.cfg and I'm going to copy the last line and paste it. Server K master 3 and the IP address is 3. Okay, save it and do a system CTL restart. Touch a proxy. Cool. Exit out of it. Okay, so now we are good. We've added the new master node and we've also added it to the load balancer. kubectl cluster info, kubectl get nodes. So everything is looking fine. So this is how you join additional nodes to your existing cluster. So uh, give this a try. If you've got any questions, let me know and uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel. And I will see you all in my next video. Until then, keep learning and keep on learning. Bye bye.